What's up, Cory Gangfish fam? How you guys doing? Uh, uh, what, wh what's this? Why, it's a microphone. <laughs> Your boy out here finally learned how to use a microphone. Yes, it's plugged in. Yes, I made sure double time that it's plugged in and it's working. I can see it in Audacity right now. It's working. Yo, let's get a like for your boy finally learning how to use a darn mic after all these years. And this is also a pat on the back for you guys for sticking with me this whole time through all my audio failures and just, oh man, that was a time. No way. Fog Machine 2? Oh, that's, that's a really cool perspective there. Goal! <laughs> Dang, scored. Wow. Messy, represent. Let's go. Dang, this is really cool. Um, I don't know about how big that tank is. I don't know if it necessarily take care of all these ranchu or lion head. I'm not sure what these goldfish are. I love that the field is green. I hope that it's live plants. Um, I have my doubts, it's probably not. I also really hope that this tank is actually big enough so that this is, you know, somewhat legit. But I did enjoy that, that was cool. Hashtag no filter. <laughs> uh, get it? No filter? Huh? No, like the filter. Yeah, you get it. This is what a fish tank looks like before it puts on makeup. But it does look like there's a whole bunch of live plants in there and a carpet going. It's just got a massive, massive algae bloom. I don't necessarily know if this tank doesn't have a filter because it could always be hang on the back. The algae is too thick for me to really confirm that. Do a water change once in a while, bro. Worth a lot of money, hurry call now. <laughs> I have a nice fish tank that doesn't take up too much room. Oh no. Well, it would be good if uh, if you didn't have an arowana in it. What in the world? Very compact setup for kids and students and fish enthusiasts. I know for a fact that kids should not own an arowana. Let's not start that debate because you won't win. Very rare silver arowana fish too. Anything to do with very rare item or animal and kids should have it or maybe even students that's a bad combination strong and healthy and eats pellets so easier to care for all right put some of those goldfish pellets in for this guy yeah that's all that's all it needs right worth a lot of money only 150 for all now i know why it's like hurry call now it's because he wants the money this fish is gonna die soon he wants it off his hands uh, average rice farmer from the fft discord meme channel how some people keep their tanks how chris keeps his tanks so that's a screenshot of when i slapped that neon blue one gallon fish tank away from the table. I do recommend that video for you guys. I'm pretty proud of that video. It's called You Suck At Fish Tanks and I was inspired by You Suck At Cooking. It's kind of in the same style. It's called You Suck At Fish Tanks. Search it up on my channel. You will enjoy it. I enjoyed this meme though. This book at my school library. Oh man. If you do not have room for a big fish tank, think about getting a fish bowl. Ugh. No, if you do not have room for a fish tank, think about what kind of fish can fit in a bowl, which is no fish. Unless you get like a 5 to 10 gallon bowl, but that's a really big bowl. Don't make your fish fit the tank. Fish fam, what are we up against here? It's even in the library books to do this. We've got our work cut out for us. This meme is sent from Ben Blassing Karami, one of our mods. When Chris stocks up for the lockdown, <laughs> the coronavirus lockdown. I'm sure you guys know about that now. Okay, Ben, first of all, I'm not a lady, I. Second of all, do you see anything wrong with the items that I got? Would I get those items? The actual answer is yes, I would buy them out so that nobody can get them. Is this a good tank? It's my first time keeping fish. Adding live plants to it, it's a 15 gallon tank. Now let's see what the comments say before I make a statement. Cory Gang writes this. It is a good tank. You will have happy fishies. However, the fish would prefer live plants. If you want to try live plants, try one or two java fern and one to two anubias. The light is good for the plants. Wow, this is pretty much what I would have said. I'm so proud of this guy. Whoever Cory Gang is, yo, let me know who you are. You are repping the FFT community so well. So proud of you, dude. This is amazing. When I stumbled upon this comment, it just made my day. David Naumov sent in this tank. Very interesting, you got a stink pot musk turtle in there and you got a whole bunch of fish. Very different opinions on whether that should be or not, but hey, if it works long term and there's no fatalities either way, that's pretty cool. You got a basking spot for the turtle. Just watch out for some of those plants. I see there might be some Anubias with their rhizomes stuck into the substrate. Never have that because those plants don't like their rhizomes buried. 
I also wanted a musk turtle before, so I did some research, and during that research, I did see that it was fairly compatible with some of the other fish. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think, but don't give this guy too much heat, all right? It looks like he's trying his best here. It's gonna be a hard tank to rate because you know, it's really off the norm. But let me give it a 4.2. Really great effort here. At least green sent in this tank. Ooh, this is pretty interesting. Um, I find it not the best idea to put just vertically standing up uh, pieces of wood, but you kind of made it work here. I see you've been trying to attach java ferns onto it. That's a good idea. You've not overstocked by any means. You got one centerpiece angel. It's gonna get bigger though, so you gotta keep that in mind. You have a neon tetra or two in there, so it's gonna get a little bit dangerous for them once the angel gets bigger. The scape is all right. I would like to see more plants in the back, of course, and just a less messier hardscape. But for me, I'm giving it a four out of five for now. Good job. This tank is sent in by Gabriela Alvarez. First thing I notice is the Inception fish bowl. What are you trying to be Serpa design? Just kidding. It looks really cool, actually. You got some really chunky albino quarries. I think that's a betta. I hope that betta is not giving the quarries too much of a rough time. Betta and betta are all different, so it really depends on which kind of personality you have. But I do like this concept. Now the backdrop is a natural planted backdrop, but it's still not real. So I would like to see some real plants in the back. Not the worst thing, but you know, to hide the heater, hide the filter and make everything look more natural. Again, you did that inception tank fairly well. You pulled it off. 4.1 out of 5. Keep it up. This tank is sent in by Jithu Jebu. <laughs> Come on guys, throw me a bone here. This is actually pretty great. It's got strong hardscape features. Uh, it's not pulling any punches there. Also with the floaters up top, the roots are very dense. That creates a really nice look. Not overstocked at all. You got some live plants here and there. Maybe recommend a carpet. I'm not sure about the rocks. They don't seem to be from like the similar sort of place. It always looks better when your rocks all kind of look the same, but with different textures. Like Oko Stone, you get a lot of different textures, but they're all the same color, the same sort of type. Now I know you guys are gonna say Oko Stone fanboy back at it again. Hey man, I've been using Seiru Stone, so what you gotta say now? 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up, bro. This is the worst I've ever seen. They squeezed a baby betta into that tiny hole and now the rescuer is trying to figure out how to break the glass to get the adult fish out. What in the world? Number one, why? where did they find such a bowl? What is the purpose of this bowl if the hole was gonna be that small? Like what, what would you put in it? Just what is the purpose? Having said that, the scape looks very interesting. And how did they get anything in this? <laughs> how did they get the branches in there? That's the worst part is by far that they put a baby betta in there when it would still fit naturally. What did you think was gonna happen? Also, how do you do your water changes? A gravel vac is too thick to be put in that hole. Do you like tilt the whole bowl every time you gotta do a water change? You know how hard that is on the betta? Man, I don't know how you're gonna rescue this fish. I'm glad you're taking up the challenge and doing what's right. But yeah, I, I hope for the best for this. I hope the betta survives whatever is to come. This tank is sent in by Calais Shavers. Now it's got like an Asian sort of theme going on and the Dumbo variant of the betta fish really seals the deal. Definitely looks like a person with like an Asian dress or something on. Blowy sort of deal. Now of course it's not very natural to put those decoration in the tank but you know what? It's fine. You like it because it's in your tank and that's all that matters. You got a good substrate. It looks like fluval stratum. Represent. Got some nice beginner plants here and there. I would recommend that you use more natural hardscapes and also fill up the tank a little more with live plants, but that's just me. And my rating is 3.8. Keep it up. My laser sent in this tank. I'm a fire in my laser. Wow, it's like a compact tank filled to the brim with live plants. This is definitely up my alley. You got a crypt growing real tall. See, crypts can stay small, but they can shoot up as well. It really depends on lighting and nutrient levels. From what I can see here, very understocked. There might be just like one sunset guppy in there. Got floater plants, got a whole bunch of different plants in there too. Not sure what that, I don't know, tubing thing looks like there. Uh, not a big fan, but still pretty good. Needs a bit more heartscaping here and there. I think it look really good with some spider wood or manzanita wood added in amongst those leaves. I like the clean rimless look, very nice. Give it a 4.3 out of 5, keep it up. Hello darkness, my old friend. 
Yes, hello. Aquaponics 101 failure. And these two boys don't look too happy with what they did now, do they? I'm just kidding, they probably have no idea that they're wrong. They're probably very proud of themselves, just like their mothers are, just like their stupid teacher is. The teacher's the only one here that's stupid, by the way. You're a teacher, don't teach them to abuse fish. Don't put the barf gravel and then trap them in a coke sort of two liter bottle and call it aquaponics. I mean, it's a great idea, but those poor fish though, those are lives. Okay, boomer. <laughs> now, how many of you actually get what the heck this picture is? This is back in the day when filters were very popular when they were under the gravel. Yes, under gravel filtration. Can you imagine that? My first tank had under gravel filtration. Such a nice fish meme because it's like, okay, boomer, because only boomer age people know about the one does not simply still use under gravel filters. <laughs> Damn it, yo, let it go, bro. We we stopped doing that, all right? There's there's no more. There's no more of those. Comment below if you still have an under gravel filter. I'd be very surprised. Fish tank review. <laughs> View. All right, the Spruce Pets published some kind of article and it has Guppy as one of the listed items, except, except they put the neon tetra as the picture. Originally from Northeast South America, guppies are probably the second most readily available fish in captivity after the goldfish. There are many attractive variations of this popular and hardy fish. And apparently the neon tetra is one of those variations. Give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a round of applause, dude. Y'all did it. Y'all made the neon tetras into a species of guppy. I, I don't know. As as someone with a strong scientific background, is this how it works? I, I guess so. These nitrates are too damn high. <laughs> Love this meme. Keep your nitrates at zero ppm. Let's go. Zero ppm nitrate gang. This fish bowl is sent in by Anubev Thakur. I definitely didn't say that right. Ugh, sue me. Don't, don't sue me. I don't have. I don't have money. Not bad for a fishbowl at all. I just see that one guppy, which is okay. I don't think it's overstocked. I think this is totally doable. There's a heater in there. There's probably a filter. I think there's a sponge filter in the back covered by live plants. That's pretty cool. Just as long as the bowl is big enough and it's got live plants, filtration, uh, proper temperature, not overstocked. There's nothing wrong to say about it. The scape could use some work though, TBH. It's a little messy here and there. Um, I recommend you take a look at some like ADU aquascaping or Serpa design to see, uh, you know, what you can improve on. For me, it's a 3.9 out of five for now. What my wife thinks I do, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty expensive. What my mom thinks I do. What my mom thinks I do. That's pretty accurate, probably. What my neighbors think I do. Aquaponics. Yep. What my boss thinks I do. Just look at Nemo and Anemone. What I think I do. Like the, the whole hardcore research uh, marine biologist. What I actually do. Yeah. Tumbling and climbing over clumsily trying to do some tank maintenance. That's right. I'm not a saltwater aquarist, but I can connect with this. Next tank sent in by Athenos from the Discord server. What's up, Athenos? I like that the centerpiece is sort of like a tree. You covered it in moss and then there's roots all over the rocks. That's a really neat effect that you don't see every day. Back is pretty heavily covered by plants. There's some lilies or hydrocado floating up top. Not sure. Very understocked. In fact, I don't see any fish at all. <laughs> you know what's a good fish tank when there's no fish in it? A solid 4.5 three out of five from me good job keep it up has 500 gallon planted tank complain salt water is too hard <laughs> yeah i feel called out in a way like there are some things that are pretty hard in the planted tank yet my number one excuse is like i'm not willing to learn salt water but it might even be more simple when it gets to some some specifics but here i am still not doing it well you know damn well it's water change day but you convince yourself it's still a week away hey that rhymed but i'm not a rapper <laughs> all these math equations trying to convince yourself like you know like the, the nitrates aren't aren't that i i did it last week so i got live plants in it no no go go do your water change go go right now pause pause this video and go all right welcome back from your water change you better have done it. And one random parasyclid. Just because the color's the same. Wow. Did you really not know 
or did you think it was okay because they are orange just like goldfish or you didn't even know it wasn't a goldfish and you put it in with the goldfish tank which is so overstocked what a sorry excuse of a fish tank look at that blue gravel scrumptious this tank is sent in by martin clarkson at first i was like oh no it's some craigslist tank and then i i, I gave it a chance and it seems to look like sort of a uh, paludarium sort of enclosed uh, vivarium sort of thing with a water feature and a land feature i hope there's nothing living in that water it looks murky kind of dirty and way too small for anything to be living in it but i love the scape the rock formation and the mosses growing on top and all over the rocks i really appreciate that i think it's a cool scape caught me a little off guard still not too sure what i really want to rate this but uh it's pretty creative the moss are on the rocks. I love that effect. 4.2 out of 5. Keep it up. My friend's fish. Oh, so freaking sad. Man, this is bad even for a SpongeBob fish tank. The house isn't even upright. It's fallen over. And then there's some kind of weird anemone thing. This is the worst SpongeBob tank out of all the bad SpongeBob tanks. This is the worst of the worst. And that, my friend, is an accomplishment in a way. Congratulations for being bad. It seems so live. Live catfish. <laughs> you had one job. <laughs> All you had to do was make sure it was true, that the live part was true. And all you had to do was take care of that one fish and it's dead. And you're wrong. It's not live. One job. Just, just one job. This tank sent in by Sean Trinio. Lovely scape. Not overstocked. Got some live plants. But then I keep looking at it and it's got some like fruity pebble specks of substrate. It's got that weird artificial volcano bridge. But it's got the natural wood. It's got the live plants. The substrate is somewhat black dark natural looking minus the fruity pebbles hey but if you like looking at this that's totally fine i'm not gonna give it too high of a rating because of all these artificial aspects and i hope you replace those artificial things with Oko stone or Seiru stone. Trust me, it'll look so much better. Come on. 3.8 out of 5. This tank is sent in by Stop It Please. I'm not sure if that's your real name, and I hope it isn't, but you do you. Also, nice scape. Interesting stocking options. You got Kissing Garami, you got Angelfish, and an Oranda or uh, one of those fancy goldfish in there. And a clown loach. A single clown loach. I don't see a school. They need to be in schools. The scape is great, minus all the stocking options, because I really don't agree with this. <laughs> I love the plant placement, I love the hardscape, especially in the center. If it was properly stocked, I would probably give this tank like a 4.5 or maybe even higher, but because of the stocking, it's gonna have to drop down to a 3.8, I'm sorry. Keep it up though, try to uh, readjust your stocking options if you can. At the Gypsy Designer sent in this tank. Wow, the first thing I see is that trickle of light beaming through this dark tank. I love that effect, that's great. You got a little Otosynclus sucking up the glass. Understocked, you got a honey grammy, and I think that's it. Live plants, not bad. Black background, always appreciated. Lucky Bamboo, eh, not really feeling that as much. You might wanna take that out, replace it with something more respectable. And think about filling out your tank more with live plants, especially the back. Heartscaping, that piece of wood is okay, but you can also think of supplementing it more with more wood. But I love that there is no artificial hardscape to be seen in this tank, good job. Four out of five, keep it up. Look at that aquarium, Woody. They rinse their media with straight tap water. Losers, rinsing media filter with straight tap water. Yeah, if, if some of you are confused right now and are like, wait, you're not supposed to do that? No, unfortunately, you're not supposed to do that, but we shouldn't laugh at you because you are learning as well, and I had to learn that at some point in my aquarium hobby. So if you haven't heard yet, and what you want to do is when you're cleaning out your filter media, maybe every six months, I would say, or even longer, because you really don't want to be touching that stuff too often. You want to basically do it with your water change. So you got your water that you sucked out um, in a bucket, and all you have to do is take out the sponge or whatever that's in there and swish it around in that bucket of your water changed water. This lets you clean off the macro debris without killing off beneficial bacteria colonies, and then you just put it back in. No rude emails, please. Axolotls. Oh man, I know that's bad. I have learned it, it is bad. I don't think you should keep more than one in a tank that small. It pains me to do this, but I can't take care of my babies anymore due to health issues. Okay, they need some TLC, tender loving care. Two albino axolotls, I believe it's a boy and a girl. About three years old, tank, stand, filter, UV, sterilizer, all included. I think I think that's that's good. Please do your research on them, please. Very redundant use of the word please. 
somewhere in the comments people are like, did this person do their research? Cause what the heck is up with that water looking all murky? And I'm not sure guys, if you are allowed to house permanently uh, one male and one female axolotl together in what looks like a 40, 30, 40 gallon tall, I'm sure they need more surface area like long rather than tall but let me know if they can be housed together permanently like that. Poor boy, he looks so sad. Yep, he sure does. Made his blow looks so niche and clean today lol. So many colors. What the heck are you trying to say? Are you drunk? You are drunk. That tank looks drunk. Do some research, fix yourself. Apply yourself a little more, come on. They said this was adequate. What do you think? <laughs> I like how there's a transparent cup in there. That's probably the same cup that the fish came in. You're like, what What else can I put in this tank? Oh, maybe maybe the, the just, just dump the cup in. Maybe that's how the fish was put in there. Maybe the, they just threw the cup into this tank and just whatever, you know? The whole purpose for having a little hide is so that the beta can feel unexposed. What? What's this? Nothing much, just the dopest merch dropping. Check out the original official Cory Gang design. Well, he's just going for it, he's just biting it. Oh gosh. Oh, it's still alive, but I don't know how, how alive it will be. Oh gosh, still trying to bite it. There's the other fish. I mean, mother dogs do do this um, to help their pups, but those aren't dogs and they're probably quite sensitive to, you know, being bitten like that, so... I don't know about this one. I have seen another video where the dog is using its snout to kind of brush more water onto a fish that's lying just on the ground. So I think dogs are smart enough to know that there are certain animals that need to be in the water to be alive, which is actually a pretty smart thing to know. The problem with this is the owner. I wouldn't put my goldfish on the ground to test if my dog is smart enough to save them. I think that is called fish abuse. <laughs> sure, it's cute, but at the cost of having your dog semi-bite your drowning fish, yes, fish do drown when they're not in the water. I've explained this before, but if you need me to explain it again, ask me in the comments, I'll be happy to do it. I make this example that has something to do with noodles as a metaphor. It's pretty interesting. Not sure if LFS is giving me advice or just trying to sell me sh 100% of the time this happens. Seriously, your local fish store is, you know, they gotta make some dollars. Rent is not cheap and not many people, not a lot of people actually buy things. They go in like with their kid to check it out and point at things and be like, mom, can I get this? No, you can't get a fish. Then why are you in the, I love <laughs> Then why are you even in there in the first place? Come on, it's not a zoo. Anyway, rant over. A couple of LFSs in my area, if I ask them like, when does this come in? Or if it's a new fish I've never seen, I ask them questions, they're like, uh, yeah, it, it, it's fine. Um, do you wanna buy it? You wanna buy it? Do you wanna buy it? You buy it now? <laughs> so no, LFSs are not the best place to, to ask your questions. It's buy or get out. Do your research beforehand. This tank is sent in by RT. Wow, it's like a piece of art. No, but I do really enjoy it. I like, there's a split substrate, which is pretty neat. Split very cleanly where the nutrient-rich substrate is uh, parted off to the side, harboring all those live plants, which is a huge plus. And you got some white in the middle, and then you got some rock scape, you got a wood scape on my right. Black background, always welcomed. Pretty nice, 4.2 out of five, keep it up. Fish Hunter from Discord sent in this meme. Hot Pockets, aquarium gravel flavored, super crunchy, I'll bet, huh? Now this is all I'm gonna think about when I see some rainbow gravel, Hot Pockets. That's kind of like if you put some nerds, you know the candy, the nerds candy, and pack the Hot Pocket with it, I imagine that wouldn't taste so good. So really, rainbow colored gravel is not welcomed anywhere at all. Not even in a Hot Pocket. Bam Blasting Game, the pupil of your eye can expand as much as 55% while looking at something you love. Aww. Thank you, Ben. I love it though, it's super funny. Good job. Five big fish in this 20 gallon aquaponics. Why does every single aquaponics suck? Why does it all suck? Every single one I've shown here, I, I guess there's a little bit of bias because I'm going to any aquariums. Still, why are there so many sucky aquaponics? This thing's not even growing anything. Even the crappy ones at least have some sort of vegetable on it. Five big old fish that are just gonna keep getting bigger. And to rub salt on the wound, you got blue gravel, everybody. 
blue gravel. It's just the best kind of gravel. You got that Gatorade flavored blue gravel hot pocket, no doubt. This tank is sent in by Lily Carlisle. Hey, I see the Endler. All right. The scape is pretty interesting. It's understocked, which I like. Oh, there's a beta. I didn't even notice that beta. I wonder if the beta are getting along with the Endlers and not uh, bothering them too much. Pachi's just really lively today. <laughs> She's not supposed to be this lively right now. I took her out in the hopes that she would be a little more chill than she is right now. She's gonna jump, isn't she? You gonna jump? Think about it. Not too on board with that gravel, as you may have guessed. Those kind of colors are not reminiscent of what you would find in nature, but I'm I'm just being a Karen about it, so just ignore me. That aside, I do like the Lava Rock Scape. Lava Rock is a cheap aquascaping medium, and I should be recommending it more instead of destroying your wallets by recommending Seiru and Oko Stone all the time. I apologize. Four out of five. Keep it up. Pashi, what happened to the good old days where you would just hang out nicely on my shoulder? Are we gonna have a talk again? Sorry friend, but buying animals impulsively is not okay. <laughs> we need a name for the fish I just impulsively bought. <laughs> hey, that tank looks like the tank that I smashed in that video about how to make the best betta fish tank. And I got a bunch of you right on the spot, like you thought I was actually gonna go with that kind of tank until I started smashing it. Make sure you smash the like button. I don't always call the fish store for help, but when I do, I don't have any water parameters or relevant information. Relevant is spelled wrong. Again, very true, but still. Never ask your fish store for help. They don't need a certification of a fish master to be able to sell their products, which are live fish, other animals, and plants. They don't need that sort of information. But what you really want to do is you go on a forum and ask for help. Maybe go to aquarium co-op. Maybe check out Dustin's fish tanks. That way you don't even have to interact with another human being. This is great. This tank is sent in by Tasha. Ooh, nice. Anubis Barteri right in the middle. Some woodwork going on. Some Anubis Nana, maybe? I love it. This is like an Anubis tank, floater tank. Pretty cool. Pretty chill. Oh, oh, our axolotl. I didn't even notice. It looks just like one of the wood pieces. The cute little axolotl tank. I think this is good. I don't know if axolotl prefer sand substrate could they potentially eat the sand by accident and get constipated what's it called impaction if so I would recommend you know just keeping a clean bare bottom which is totally fine if you're keeping an axolotl don't want them choking and dying but for an axolotl tank and if it's good if the sand is good and everything is fine it looks really nice it's one of the nicer axolotl tanks it's like a planted tank and I know they're known to dig up roots and stuff and that's why you probably picked these plants very smart. 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. This is a mess. I even made a background for my fish tank, Lamal. What kind of background is that, dude? Are you like 9 years old and then your art class? Actually, no, this is this is probably younger than 9 years old. But what kind of 9-year-old has the budget to buy a big tank like this and then, what, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 blood cichlids and the pink gravel? There's probably another cichlid in there, too. I don't care who you are or what you know, but if you don't psycho your tank, I will find you and I will kill you. Honestly, Taken should have just stopped at one. How many is there now? Like four? What are they gonna take next? His dignity? Taken my dignity. I don't even know how to remix this one. I wouldn't go so far to say I will kill you. Um, I will probably just be sad. What is gonna get killed is the fish. This tank is sent in by Fawns or Fonzie or Fonz A. Nice black substrate, uh, low stocking, I believe. Perhaps buff up your schools of tetras more. Maybe go for more neon tetras or more black neons. The artificial decor is not like blatantly artificial looking it's still not the best choice you've got some live plants in there and some fake ones on that fake artificial decor but i would recommend uh, transitioning it to something more realistic you could easily make or replicate something like this with again lava rock right now 3.8 out of 5 keep it up thanks google oh boy can a goldfish live in a one gallon tank most people have bowls that are a little over 0.5 gallons in size, so a full gallon will do one goldfish just fine. You won't be able to put more than one goldfish in a tank. Oh, you don't say. But a single goldfish will do well in a one gallon tank. You should ask, can a goldfish live more than a week in a one gallon tank? Google. James and Doe sent in this tank. Looks like some high quality glass, nice and clean. You got a bunch of floaters up top. Looks like probably frog bit that you trim back or maybe it's Alvania. I do enjoy the wood scape work that you've done. It's multi-dimensional. It looks like you know what you're doing unless you got really lucky and that's one whole piece. 
It's a really good piece, you should keep it forever. Don't let any of your Yakuscaping friends steal it. Plants are okay, they're placed a little bit haphazardly to me. Um, I wouldn't put the taller growing plants right in the front like that. Again, it kind of looks like one of those tanks and these tanks have shown up in FTRs before that the orientation is kind of like not facing the front. It almost feels like you're looking at the tank from the back of the tank or maybe one of the sides of the tank. Now you want to orientate your decorations and aquascape so that your audience is seeing the tank and feels like it's opening up to them, not closing it or having your audience behind a certain decor. That being said, this is still great. I'm going to rate it a 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. I was just trying to find a way to build those hang on back cups for a pothos. And he ran into this thing, another failed, absolutely disgusting aquaponic system. Probably even worse than the last one. That's not even a fish tank. That's probably the holder for the plants up top and he just removed it and then decided decided, oh, this thing can hold water. Found on Instagram, before, yikes, after, even more yikes. Now I like the before more, can you guess why? Pause and guess why I like the before more in the comments. I think you'll get it right. That's right, there was enough fish in there for you to abuse before. After, sure, the cup looks better, but there's a fish now and that is way too little water in there. You didn't even fill it up to the brim. Even if you did, you'd still be missing like four more gallons. It looks like a great mug to drink out of, not a fish tank. This tank is sent in from Sinkazislaw. Give me a break. I'm sure that's a lovely name in your language, but I can't pronounce it. I'm too Asian to pronounce any name that looks like that. <laughs> Beautiful skull of cardinals, nice. Just positioned by the black mollies. Wow, you got a vision going on over here. Tall val is in the back corner, some plants, other plants to try to fill up the back. Hopefully that's a nutritious substrate because they're gonna be feeding root heavy. I see that you're trying to get a carpeting plant going in the front. Some hardscape would never hurt. Maybe a few rocks or some good pieces of wood. So far so good, 4.3 out of five. I see a lot of potential in this tank, keep it up. Hey, oh, how you doing? Wanna lick me? No? Okay. Sturgeon tank in North Korea. This is awful. They look like they're dying by the second. I mean, we're all dying by the second, but they look like they're really struggling, you know, for a breath. And it looks like one of them has died. That definitely looks like a dead sturgeon. And sturgeon get way bigger than this, so they're definitely, you know, this is definitely not a good thing that's happened. But this might be the rarest uh, crappy aquarium on this whole list. You got the picture from North Korea. How did you do that, son? I've never really thought about it, but now I'm curious. How do they keep fish in Korea? Is it all like this? If people can't even eat there, is fish keeping a hobby in North Korea? That's the question of the day for me. I'm gonna go do some research after making this video. Fish, tank, root. Perfecto. View. All right, so I just stumbled upon WikiHow uh, about how to get over a fish's death. It caught my eye because there are a few questionable things about this article that I want to illustrate. So first of all, there's a lot of steps. There's a part one, part two, and part three, and each of them have their own sub-steps. Part one, number one, take time to grieve. There is nothing strange or wrong with mourning the passing of a living being that was important to you. That's true. Indeed, it is a natural reaction. Don't feel the need to hurry up and get over the death of your fish. People need different amounts of time to grieve. Nine times out of ten, uh, your school of brand new purchased neons, one or two of them is going to die because they can't acclimate to your tank. And because they've been just, you know, bred to crap in captivity. <laughs> so I'm imagining someone reacting this way if like one of their neons died and they're an expert fish keeper already. Obviously, this is not the demographic that WikiHow is going after. Because here's step two, <laughs> understand your grief. But the picture made it seem like step two is cry. <laughs> Make sure you cry, it is a crucial step. Actually, it's true. After crying sometimes, you kind of see things in a more clearer way. Whatever made you cry doesn't seem that important anymore every time you cry, at least for me. I mean, I don't ever cry, so. You may not want to believe that your fish is dead. For a few days, you could be in denial, not wanting to accept that your fish is really gone. 
Feeling angry at yourself for what you think you could or should have done to save your fish? Many people feel depressed after the loss of a pet. Probably a more charismatic pet than one of my neon tetras. Still a life, still valuable and precious. But I can't seem to bring myself to cry over the loss of one neon. Talk to people that understand. These may be family members, friends, or even an online forum. Share what you are feeling with them. I guess I wouldn't be the best person to share with, <laughs> judging by how I'm reacting to this wiki how. Oh yeah, another thing. Just the fact that they had to make a tutorial for how to react when your fish dies is kind of comedic to me. I don't know, is this the video where all my viewers are going to start hating me and leaving the channel? Maybe. I hope not. Uh, the risks that I take. Jeez, I like living on the edge. Step four, give your fish a memorial service. Now, I kind of agree with this. This is cute for smaller... The word I was looking for was kids, smaller kids or children. It kind of teaches them that yes, everything that's living does have value and you should treat it with respect even when it's dead. Number five, step five, save your memories. This is also nice. Create a scrapbook. That's great. Step six, use your aquarium as a memorial. The reason why that aquarium is now in memorial is because it's actually not an aquarium, it's a fishbowl. And not many species of fish that can live in there without, you know, dying really quickly. So wiki how maybe instead of doing this tutorial and using the wrong sort of thing to illustrate your points, such as calling a fish bowl a aquarium, address the problem at its roots, which is why the fish are dying, not, okay, your fish died, now just use their bad choice of a home as decoration until the next fish. Okay, this is main step number two, sub step number one. <laughs> Make sure it's really dead. <laughs> Thanks, WikiHow. <laughs> it do be like this on TikTok these days, though. All the TikTokers are like, is this fish dead? Is my fish dead? Like, waving it around, and, and the fish was perfectly fine, but now it's probably going to die. Good job. Sometimes fish can appear dead, and if you freeze them in the freezer and then try to revive them, they'll come back to life. I'm kidding, that was a crappy video on TikTok. Alright, step 2.2. Try to determine why your fish died. This is a good step. This is probably the step that I identify with the most because it says check, well, okay, the first point is says check the water levels. Was the tank too full? Did the fish jump out? Okay, I guess that has some merit to it. Obvious injuries, signs of disease. Have your fish become poisoned by something foreign in the tank? You should check your water parameters, okay? Test the water quality. That's the best one. Properly and respectfully dispose of the body. Some people believe that the body doesn't contain the spirit of the fish anymore and simply place their fish's body in the trash. We getting religious up in here, wiki how? Wiki how to be a Christian? Wiki how are you not a Buddhist yet? All right, this next one really gets me. Make sure your other fish are healthy. Your other fish are two goldfish in a half a gallon bowl of water. Can we forget about the changing the water, the bacteria, the heater, whatever it's saying, and address the main stem of the issue, which is why is it in a fish bowl? Those goldfish are only drawn to be that size because they don't know that goldfish get bigger than that because it always dies before they do. Step 3.2, invest in a quarantine tank. How that quarantine tank gonna be bigger than the actual tank your fish is in, the main tank. <laughs> this guy's quarantine tank is bigger than the main tank. What in the world? Wiki how you have outdone yourself. How does Wiki how come up with this crap? You're really pushing the mainstream fish abuse agenda here, aren't you? Consider getting a new fish. Wow, moving on so fast. You are so unfaithful to your pet. And I wonder what else you're unfaithful to in your life, lady? Stop thinking or daydreaming about goldfish while you hold a bowl of water. You should be thinking plants and maybe some snails, maybe some small shrimpies. This tank is sent in by Migs. Nutritious substrate, a big, big pile of java moss it looks like. That's pretty cool. Chola wood all around. I see the shrimp. Shrimp love chola wood and shrimp love that java moss. Very cool. There's a little castle in the reflection. I'm catching it. Not my favorite. 3.9 out of 5. Keep it up. This tank is sent by Tucker Caldwell. Again, very nutritious substrate. You got that sponge filter and you have a main uh, hang in the back filter. So what's up with that? Why do you need two filtration methods for what looks to be a small school of uh, 
white clouds. Cool stuff, I can't wait for this to all grow up. It's gonna look pretty nice. Add some heartscape if you can, that'd be great. For now, 3.9 out of 5. Keep it up. I don't always acclimate my fish, but when I do, it's because they are over $150. Now, you should always acclimate even the really cheap ones, come on. Even if they're free, you should always acclimate. But if they are $150, probably acclimate a little longer. <laughs> Finds one Iptasia, buys 20 gallons of lemon juice. If you guys are confused about what Iptasia is, it's uh, it makes sense that you're confused because this is salt water. All the salt water enthusiasts right now are like, yeah, does this mean Chris is going to do salt water? No, it doesn't. I was just doing research before and uh, Iptasia came up because it was one of the most annoying pests in the salt water aquarium. It's kind of like hair algae. You can't really get rid of it when it starts and it's really hard. But lemon juice seems to, they, they hate it. You just squirt it on them and they're like, oh. No. Ashley, where do you think you're going, huh? Where do you want to climb to? Average rice farmer from the Discord. Planaria, shrimp. Oh dang, who are you and how did you get in my house? Shrimp, holy, f am I gonna die? Those are the actual words I said, so that's why it makes it funnier. COVID-19 is a terrifying worldwide pandemic. Fish keepers. <gasps> The only way we have to stop it is quarantine. Fish keepers with quarantine tanks. Okay. <laughs> is that how it works, fish keepers? They don't infect fish, they infect humans. They don't infect you, I hope. Yeah. Aquariums are fish abuse. <gasps> Gasp. Because bettas get lonely by themselves in bowls. A. To be honest, who cares what PETA thinks anyway? This tank is sent in by Tobias Wolfsberger. Really lush bed of Vallis. That's pretty impressive. Look at that. Overflowing on the top of the tank. That's great. I love that look. You got honey garamis very lightly stocked, it seems. The heartscape is alright. Just a wild forest looking tank. I love it. It's 4.3 out of 5 for you. This tank is sent in by Elvis Swagger. And this tank got some swagger. Holy cow. Wow, that is amazing. Holy rip. Rapashi. Rapashi, you like this tank? Look at that. Would you like to live in there? No, you would probably drown. The wood pieces just are amazing and grand. You got a full carpet, just everywhere carpeted. The different textures, different colors, wow. Even got Hydrocado Japonica. Oh, just a little attention to detail right there. All the different heights. Playing with your field of perception. Yeah. Even Rapashi's turning around to, to look at that tank. It's amazing. Five out of five, what can I say? Understocked. A little scattering of Hygrophila pinnatophyta, or however you say that plant. Marvelous five out of five, full score. Keep it up, Elvis. When the LFS say you've got a nitrate problem, house for sale. <laughs> Get rid of the whole house if the fish tank has a nitrate problem, all right? It's, it's not fixable. We are moving. Had to pay for the new lighting system somehow. <laughs> for sale. No, don't sell your dog. Rapashi, I promise I will never sell you to buy more fish, okay? Okay? I promise. Do you like that? I will, I will never sell you to buy more fish, okay? I will not use you to buy another endler. I promise I will not use you to upgrade my fluval and CO2 system. Another one of Ben's memes, the pupil of your eye can expand as much as 55% while looking at something you love. And then your pupil goes super, super small for that. Rainbow gravel, one goldfish in a two gallon sort of tank setup. My pupil would just disappear. That's possible. This meme sent in by Russia. How I shop at a store. Just regular. How I shop at a fish store. <laughs> You gotta look around, double check prices, double check species, double check anything that's new that arrived, all the plant section, and just do your rounds. Just look everywhere. And oftentimes the LFS owner is like, can you just buy something? Stop looking, this is not a zoo. Of course. Just took it straight from the fridge. So my fish died, and I heard if you freeze your fish and put it in salt water, it'll come back to life. Oh my gosh, she's alive. Oh my gosh. Right? Yeah. All right. She's alive. Oh my god. Okay, tell me that this person didn't just put their fish, who was uh, completely fine, probably, on this paper plate and pretend to make it come back to life. Please do not try this, this is not real. This stuff does not work. 
scientifically there's no merit you should not put your fish through this even if your fish dies you shouldn't try this because just let the fish rest in peace come on I can't believe this got 2.5 million hearts on TikTok. Like, what do people think happens? You can bring a fish to life just like that? You can bring a dead thing to life. The last time that happened was in Full Metal Alchemist, which you should watch. It's a nice anime. It's one of my personal favorites. But still, you can't bring anything back to life without a price. And in real life, you can't bring anything back to life, period. Really? There has to be a helicopter right now when I am recording. You can tell I'm a little pissy today. It's probably because I just watched some stupid TikToker freeze their fish to death and lie to a bunch of people and then interrupted by a helicopter that never comes when I'm not recording. <laughs> Man, sometimes for these people, I just want to give a quick smack to them. As, as hard as you smacking that like button. Okay, maybe not that hard. I don't want to kill anyone. No, but seriously, make sure to smack that like button like you are smacking a tank that is way too small for a beta to live in. Here's James, though, to the rescue, doing some serious work in that pink Cory Gang original design hoodie. Dang, James, you lit fam. Also, that tank in the back is lit as well. I approve. Good job, James. Now, for those of you who have bought Cory Gang merch, please show it off. Uh, send it to me in an email and label it something like merch so I can't miss it. And another piece of good news, the Vaporwave designs are back and they're here to stay. They are no longer limited edition, for now at least. Even the premium Vaporwave design in the premium black tee is back as well. It's a sweet design and collaboration with Gyo Ryu. Uh, you can find them on Instagram and Fiverr. Uh, make sure to give them a visit and see if you need any design work done yourself. Wallstead. Meta Wallstead setup. $50. Now if you don't know what Wallstat is, um, Google it. You'll find many beautiful images of natural looking tanks that don't have a filter and it's like an ecosystem in the fish tank itself. And let me tell you, this ain't it boys. <laughs> this is far from it. There's nothing more to say. No there isn't. Three American green tree frogs with habitat for sale. 30 bucks. Less than the Wallstat tank that was 50 bucks, but considerably worse surprisingly i don't know it could get worse than that what in the world am i even looking at why is everything like neon green blue what is going on why is it able to sustain three american green tree frogs who in their right mind would put three of that masked as backyard safari i don't know if the designers ever seen a safari in their life Again, this ain't it, chief. I have three tree frogs that come with their complete habitat setup. If this is a complete habitat setup, then I don't know if that person knows what the word complete means or the words habitat mean. Maybe they know what the word setup means because it's setting it up for failure. This tank is sending Alice Lopes or maybe Alice Lopez, I'm not sure. Really nice cardinals, they're getting pretty big in that tank. There's also a pleco, I'm not sure if this tank is overstocked or not, but I do like the Anubias attachment and I do like the scape. It's pretty nice, pretty natural, honestly. And there's a beta in there too, so I'm beginning to think that this is definitely <laughs> A little bit overstocked. There might even be an endler in there. I'm not sure what that is, but I do like the plants. The look is pretty neat. 4.3 out of 5, which is still a pretty good mark, all things considered. All Red Russell sent in this tank. It looks like a 20 gallon long. You can correct me if I'm wrong on that one. Nice little angels. This tank is understock and the plants look pretty nicely dispersed you just gotta wait for them to grow in a little bit they look a little sparse for now i'm going to rate it a four out of five keep it up can't wait to see where it goes so this viewer on instagram a carla underscore 2701 sent in a bunch of memes and they were all really good so i'm going to feature it real quick here there's lots of algae what do we do bristle nose excel learn about algae and how it grows makes sense CEO doesn't like it. <laughs> Throw some off the roof. What kind of idea is that? We don't come up with those sensible ideas here. 300 million years of evolution for this effing substrate. Yeah, you putting a dinosaur on some colorful pebbles. Do you have no shame, rainbow gravelers? What my local fish store owner would look like if I was a millionaire. You know, if I was a millionaire, I'd probably just order... I don't know what I would do. Would I still be ordering from my local fish store if I was a millionaire? Wouldn't I just start my own company? I don't... 
I'm not sure, I haven't thought about this. Maybe I would, just to keep things simple and keep fish stores afloat. Yeah, they'd be bawling like Mr. Krabs here. ADA fans, when you tell them about your new DIY light. I'm sorry, is this some sort of peasant joke that I'm too rich to understand? <laughs> Yeah, ADA fans are real snobs and posh people of the uh, hobby for sure. They're all clean and transparent and really high quality products. Their lights are super minimalistic and clean and fresh versus like this mangled DIY light. Albeit some DIY lights look pretty lit. Pain diagrams, headache, stomach ache, okay. Your favorite fish jumping out of your fish tank. <laughs> that is the achiest ache of all. Heartache. I think I need to go back to WikiHow to get over the loss of my fish. Step one is cry, right? Okay, BRB. What's your favorite plant? Plastic plants. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Even that little kid knows not to buy plastic plants. If you really must go artificial, and I don't know why you would want to do that for a permanent thing, because I feel like live plants are just as much about the hobby as fish keeping itself. Then at least don't go plastic, but go silk. Silk artificial plants, please. You might just save the life of your fish. This tank is sent in by E1000CD. Cool name, bro. Also cool scape. I like the woodwork. I like the rock work. I like that it's understocked, the floater plants up top, and your background, which probably is a backdrop, but it does look pretty natural, so kudos to that. 4.1 out of 5, keep it up. On Instagram, searching hashtag aquascape. First of all, how is that an aquascape? Why are there two bettas in this bowl? And why did you... <laughs> That's not aquascape. Do you know what aquascape means, sir? It means a scape. Like, you know, a cityscape. It has buildings on the skyline. Where's anything? There's not even substrate in there. This is the reverse of aquascape. This is negative. This is no aquascape. It should be hashtag no aquascape less. There is no scape in there. It's just water. You can't scape with just water. Okay, calm down. Take a breather. There's too many fish in this bowl. I get it. It looks aesthetically pleasing, okay, to, to people who are dumb. Stop encouraging this behavior. Two bettas cannot be put in the same 0.5 gallon fish bowl. Kendrick T sent in this tank. Okay interesting substrate <laughs> didn't notice that before they're just balls black balls i don't know what that substrate is i've never seen it before it's probably not natural might be just black marbles so the tank for me it's gonna get a three out of five but it's going to get bumped up to 4.5 out of five because of that naruto poster i love naruto <laughs> how did you know bro also you got like two swords there that's pretty kick-ass too. Oh, that's the original Naruto anime when Sasuke had the Orochimaru curse mark and everything. That's pretty cool, dude. Although I am more of a fan of Naruto Shippuden, but you know, it's part of the show. It's part of the history. If you haven't watched Naruto, after this video, go get yourself some Naruto. Can't go wrong, man. Can't go wrong. And do you like the, the hand signs and everything? I think this one's... Wait. Chidori? Fireball Jutsu? I don't know. Shadow Clone? <laughs> Lane underscore star sent in this meme. Me eats my food in peace. My waitress, how is everything tasting? This is actually very true. I, I usually have this expression on my face when the waitress or waiter is coming to my table and asking how everything is. I'm just like... See me eating it? Yeah, it's good. It's good, buddy. I wouldn't be eating it if it wasn't good. This is sent in by Minxie Mufo. Apparently, if you turn on subtitles, it gets kind of funny sometimes. <laughs> Different water parameters that is needed for these two penises. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying there, but I definitely wasn't talking about penis. What do you think? Might as well be in a pond. Yeah, it should really be in a pond. I mean, that tank kind of looks pretty cool, like the frame and everything. It could work as a really cool planted tank, not a green water turtle tank. Ah yes, five balls sharks. Five nice balls sharks for sale. Probably means bala sharks. Just really unfortunate. Balls sharks. Please contact. I will. This guy used to float upside down 24-7. I made him a life jacket. That is... Now he can eat and swim by himself again. So it was like a swim bladder issue. This is like... 
a wheelchair for a goldfish. Show Kekko some love. That is cute. Um, but immediately a few issues come out. So it's like the typical yes, but no. That thing, if it's permanently around the body, uh, and this was commented in the Reddit thread where I found this, it's going to cause some flesh wounds because it's constantly grinding up against the scales. I don't care what material it is, even if it's silk, and it's definitely not silk, it's something harder and more abrasive than that. Even if it is silk, something even softer, it's still not really going to work because, like, as a permanent solution because it's just anything in contact with scales that are not supposed to be repeatedly, time and time again, at least a thousand times a day, I would imagine. That's not going to work very well to the flesh, to the slime coat of the fish. But it's such a neat idea and it's so satisfying to see your fish swimming upright again, especially if it's being cursed by the evil swim bladder disease. Some comments say feed it peas. It's not really going to do anything because peas are usually for constipation and swim bladder disease has nothing to do really with the digestive system. And you know what else has nothing to do with the digestive system? the like button except if this video gets more likes that means it'll be pushed out by youtube more with the algorithm which means people will watch it more which means i might make a few bucks more which means i can put more food on my table so which then goes into my digestive tract i i guess yeah it, it does have something to do with the digestive system smash that like button feed me <laughs> i'm hungry all the time and feed rapashi she doesn't get to eat if i don't get to eat right is that how it works? Speaking of food, birthday cake and you buy me. No, nothing says appetizing than putting a fish uh, in the smack middle of your birthday cake. It looks really good if there was no live fish right in the middle of your birthday cake. Happy birthday, dude. Turns out it's not a dude. Why would anyone want this? The kid's probably gonna get ammonia poisoning from water spillover. A grown woman made it for her birthday. I've lost faith in humanity. We shouldn't have had any in the first place, man. Here, Pashi. You waking up? You waking up, buddy? Oh, okay. Marketplace post great aquarium converted from salt water to fresh water. Like that is the main point here. Not that there's a red belly piranha in your aquarium. Oceanic BioCube 22 gallon with stand, $150. That's great, except there's a piranha in your aquarium. Ever think about that? In a 22 gallon. I know it doesn't mean much to you, but it means a lot to the piranha, let me tell you that. <laughs> no special tittle, just people being idiots. <laughs> okay, um, yes, the turtle's really bad, but if you're gonna make a post like this, make sure you don't typo the word title into tittle and then call people idiots. <laughs> that was almost funny enough for me to oversee this. Jokes. It's not. This is way, way too horrible for that. Some people might not even be able to keep crickets in that small of a container and they think it's inhumane to, to put a few little bugs in there. You got a turtle, buddy. And you didn't even fill it up to the brim. It's like insult to injury. Have you ever considered how that turtle would feel in there? Do you really think that turtle has it, has it all well? I'm sure whoever owns this turtle was like, I love my turtle so much, I got a pet turtle, I love it, and posted it all over Instagram or whatever, TikTok. Do you really love this turtle? Do you treat something you love this way? You do you, pal. Just leave the turtle out of it. You're lucky the turtle girl doesn't know about this. She's gonna, she's gonna have a field day with you, buddy. Destiny Wit sent in this tank. Simple and yet elegant, and it's not, it's not over planted but I'm not really complaining because it's got that island look and I don't know if you're just a master aquascaper or if this was a fluke, but the lines coming out of the wood plus the texture of the rock brings this together quite, very quite nicely. That albino quarry gang in the bottom corner, 4.5 out of five. I love that heartscape. Garrett, what's up? You got a nice carpet. You got a nice big Amazon sword and a cool betta. Now, what's wrong with it? Can you guess? For me, I don't know why there is blue gravel <laughs> on the bottom. It almost seems like it's really just a confused tank. You got like a five-year-old's input, like, Daddy, put blue gravel on the bottom. It'll look nice. And then you got like a master aquascaper with that awesome carpet. So I don't know what happened. Maybe it is like a daddy-son duel here or daddy or mother-daughter duel. 
or the other way, I don't know, just parent-kid thing is what I'm trying to get at. So I'm conflicted. Do I rate it a 4.5 out of 5 or a 3.5 out of 5? Let's go with a 4, shall we? Sand can be a bit. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> yes, definitely. This is why I always use saran wrap or a plate while you are putting water in your new fish tank. Or else it might end up like this, looking like a snow or sand block in Minecraft. Damn, dude. Uh, this is some new tank syndrome to the max. Never seen it like this. It's not actually new tank syndrome. It's just the sand has not at all settled. Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. This is taken from The Office, where Pam makes some work for Creed, who just became the branch manager. <laughs> Can you believe it? It's in one of the later seasons. There is no difference between that clown and that fishbowl. I agree. I approve. Good job, Ben. Oh no. <laughs> Someone sent in this meme on the Discord channel. Oh. Bro. Paul Cafaro putting new fish two new bettas in that tank. I don't know if he actually did it. I think the uh, three-year-old kids defending him are gonna be like, he only put it in there and then took it out. Well, you can you can kill someone and say sorry after. <laughs> Still doesn't change the fact that you killed someone. You can swear at your parents and then say sorry after. Doesn't change the fact that you swore at them, which is horrible and which I assume Paul Cafaro fans would do anyway. I don't know why, maybe I'm making a bad assumption here. Let me know, Paul Cafaro fans, and leave a dislike on your way out, thanks. Boost the algorithm, make a few more accounts to dislike this video if you can, if you have the time. If you're not too busy watching Paul Cafaro. <laughs> Rapashi has left the server because I mentioned he who shall not be named. I'm just kidding guys, he's not that bad. Aiden Kaplanis sent in this tank. Right off the bat, you already know what I'm gonna say about that dragon. It's cool, but Maybe a little out of place in a fish tank. I don't know. If you like that, hey man, all the more to you. That wood piece has a lot of potential though, and the plants are nice. I'm not sure if the background plants can be a little bit more green. Maybe there's some deficiency somewhere. Double check on those lights. Double check on the lighting hours. The stocking is not bad. Um, I'm wondering if it's a little overstocked for the beta and so many other fish. Looks like either white clouds or some sort of albino zebra daniel. There might be a guppy in there. I see the nearite snail. I love nearite snails. Good job. Nutritious substrate. I'm going to give this a 3.9 out of 5. Keep it up, lots of potential here. Ashton sent in this tank. Bright substrate right off the bat. There is so much loaded into the tank. I love the woodwork. I think you probably combined a few wood pieces here and there. That looks amazing. You planted all over it with java moss it looks like, or some other kind of moss, I don't know. Java moss is not the only moss available, not by a far long shot. The other plants are great. I like that you threw in a lily in there. There's other interesting little plants. I don't see any stocking, that means it's understocked, but I would like to see some kind of fish because at the end of the day it is a fish tank. Some of my viewers are like, Chris, this, are you sure you're fish for thought? It should be like plants in a fish tank for thought. You have a point. I see that point. <laughs> tank looks pretty good though. I'm gonna have to give it a 4.3 out of 5. Keep it up. From the film Saving Face. Never seen this before. Decent movie, crappy aquarium. I'll say. I mean... I wouldn't call this an aquarium at all. These goldfish can get massive, and then they're gonna get stunted in growth because they're in a small container, and they create these hormones or enzymes or proteins, I'm not sure what they create, but it makes it so that they can't really keep growing. And you fix this by putting them in a larger, much larger tank so that their enzymes can disperse out of the water, and with more frequent water changes, it won't disrupt their growth. It's always Facebook. When you love your fish so much, you just want to be a little bit closer to him. This is not cute at all, and the little kid can even drown. Right, Rapashi? Why are you staring at me like that? <laughs> don't jump on my face, I don't like that. I don't like when you jump on my face. One of the comments is like, that diaper is probably the cleanest water filter that tank has seen in years. That is so savage. Matthew Geyer sent in this tank. Nice beta, nice rock work with the wood. Jeez, guys, you, you guys have been submitting some really good tanks with really good hardscapes these days. That's great. I'm always saying there's not enough hardscape sometimes, but I'm seeing some ample hardscape these days. Love that Oko stone. I think you use some smaller pieces to put it together. Oh, that hardscape is great. Just lacking maybe a bit of plants here and there, especially in the back. But I'm really digging the hardscape. It's a beta tank. You're treating your beta really well, it seems. 4.35 out of 5. Keep it up. Still awaiting the response of the let go seller about how many gallons aren't being used in this 10 
fish torture chamber. When you're so upset that you become a keyboard warrior just to reply back to someone selling an item, which is great, I love your passion. And it says condition like new. If you ask the fish that are living in it what the condition is, they'd be like death. Maybe you should change it to conditioner, never used. Count the fish, no thanks. Help with cloudy water, 55 gallon. Is that the most that you need help with right now? Help with cloudy water? If you don't know what cloudy water is when it seems like a new tank that you set up, you really shouldn't have two gigantic Oscars. Let me just say, anyone who doesn't know what cloudy water is, new tank syndrome is something that Oscar owners should be very familiar with. Oscars are not beginner fish, but new tank syndrome is a beginner issue. Beginners always wonder why their tank is cloudy. Not to mention the barf gravel. We gotta have that, right? Someone on Discord arguing that this is an ideal way to keep a beta. Each tank is one gallon. What's more, they have pretty good knowledge on how to keep a turtle, but they seem really lazy to do any form of research on bettas. What a weird scenario. You love your turtle, but hate bettas for some reason. This guy probably feeds his turtle bettas as a special treat as well. Oh no, thought you said batteries. Mmm, Duracell. <laughs> Give me the Discord. Sorry, but the problem is that this guy is one of the admins. Uh-oh, if he finds out that somebody posted this photo in this specific subreddit, he'll keep searching and might somehow find out it's me and kick me out of the group. Yikes. Now that's a power-hungry admin. That's a big no-no in my Discord. So weird someone would be able to see how to take care of a turtle, how other people suck at it, and not make the connection that people do the same thing with bettas, and he's just misinformed. Turtle care is a lot of work and money. I think you hit the nail on the head with this one. Turtle care is much harder. So if you're good with a turtle, you should be stellar with better care. It has a Marimo in there, so it must be fine. One of the biggest myths of all. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh, the little gills just like flapped around. Oh, it's getting a mustache. Aw. It's so funny, they just stay there. They don't care. Are they even, like, awake? Are they just sleeping with their eyes open? Is that a unicorn horn? <laughs> oh, it's a party hat, maybe. It's like a wizard's hat. <laughs> it's like a wizard axolotl. Hello. Man, this is a 10 out of 10 idea. Oh! It's like, yo, what you doing, boy? <laughs> Who told you you could do this to me? If I had an axolotl, that would be the first thing i do. Just wait for it to chill by the glass and draw funny faces all over them. I hope this becomes a trend because I, I really love to see more. I think someone else already did one. But no, I don't think I'm going to get an axolotl because of how paranoid I am with the temperature controls. You don't need a warm tank for an axolotl. You need the exact opposite, a cooling system. How the heck am I going to get a cooling system when it's like 30 degrees uh, in the summer. Yo, Foxy the Noob sporting the Cory Gang merch, bro. Is that a maroon? Is that like a off red maroon color hoodie? Oh, dude, those headphones looking lit. That tank behind you looking lit. Let me get a better look there. Oh, snap, that is green. Got some Kabombal all over the place. That might be Hygrophila polysperma. Really easy going plant, some Elodia for floaters. Nice natural looking substrate. Pretty sweet tank, bro, but I can't rate it because this is not a pay to win system. But I'm definitely down to show you off in that merch beside your fish tank. I feel so sorry for the little guy found on Pinterest and had to share. Ooh. That is hands down the smallest bit of water that a beta has been put in. Just to top it all off, there's a really big pond just right next to it. And the beta is like, why can't I be in that one? JK, I don't think it's cognitively able to think that up. But we are creatures who can, and that just looks sad. You got so much open space, yet this fish is confined into this tiny little bit of water. Probably just used for this picture and then tossed away. Why is YouTube doing this? It's not YouTube, but the YouTubers. Now I saw a similar tank setup, and some of you have been sending it to me on various platforms, and I actually approve of that one because that one is just normal fish tanks, and then the person made this bridge over it. And then there were some coolie loaches, going from each tank. I think that's actually a pretty cool idea, although kind of unnecessary. I don't know really why, what the purpose is, but it seems like this guy tried to copy that guy, and this is completely different because you got giant goldfish and now it's a nitrate problem. There really is nothing bad about it if the fish are small and able to be contained in such small areas, like a guppy or something smaller. But once you introduce goldfish, I don't, you can't 
explain yourself out of that one because now it's like nitrate spike, ammonia poisoning. Do I need to explain? My fish just had a baby, so we celebrate it. That's vodka. I don't know. Yeah, you, you do need to explain. I have no idea what's wrong with this. What's wrong with this tank, man? It's just a little bit of celebration. The fish just had a baby. Celebrate with them. Cheers. Bottoms up, bro. This tank is sent in by Jamie Cooper. Very interesting. It is a bare bottom tank, but I really don't suggest bare bottoms for especially planted tanks because these and, and these plants do have root systems. They're not like Anubias or Jaffern, which also do have root systems, but they can do good without being planted or needing any substrate. These plants, it looks like there's Ludwigia. There's some maybe Hygrophila here and there, and those are heavy root feeders. And you have fish in there that do not require bare bottom. And throughout this video, I'll explain which fish actually do require bare bottom. And there are, surprisingly. <laughs> Coming from me, that's a surprise, eh? But if I can just imagine this tank with some substrate on it, it would look pretty good. I really like that piece of wood. It has a lot of potential. The score is gonna take a hit, 3.4 out of five. Keep it up. Aka Adosan sent in this tank. Nice. That centerpiece wood is like art just flowing into the tank. Those leading lines, that's great. Life plants all over. The placement of the Anubias in the front is magical. <laughs> Understocked, floaters up top, taking in all that nutrients. I think it's a nutrient rich substrate. Really natural looking, really nice. 4.35 out of 5. When you see the Karen at the pet store, buy 100 bettas. You just glance and just look away. Yeah, I, I shop at pet stores. I also worked at pet stores and there are people coming in to buy a very questionable amount of bettas and I just I was instructed not to say anything it broke my heart but let's be honest if I was allowed to say something I'd still be kind of scared to mess with a Karen you know you never know what they're gonna pull on you I'll leave it up to you to think what was going through this man's mind I scrolled down to the comments and they said this is a haddock that is, I think, an ocean fish. And then the comments also said this person put some salt, like table salt, into the aquarium. <laughs> I don't have to be into the saltwater hobby to know that you can't just magically make saltwater uh, viable for saltwater fish just with table salt and water. Plus, I'm pretty sure this guy got the haddock from the local fish market. Like, not local fish store where you get the pet fish. Local fish market or like the fish section of like Superstore or something. That fish is definitely dead. It probably was dead before he put it in. I, I don't know. I... What is going through his mind? It's an enigma. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. All right, we got a little comic strip. Took her home. She's drunk and he's planning to take advantage of her until he saw the pink gravel <laughs> fish tank. And he's like, nope, nope, I'm out of here. Nope, not worth, not worth. So basically, if you don't want to get taken advantage of, just have really bad fish tanks. No, that's not the message at all. The message is actually teach young boys at a young age that is very not right to touch anybody without their consent and or take advantage of anyone in any situation. And that includes women. Second try at getting on FTR. Hey, you got it this time. This is a tank in my dentist's office. Damn dude, this is a rare tank and you saw it in real life and took a picture. Kudos to you. I'm saying it's a rare tank because this is a limited edition bad tank. The bad owner thought this parrot cichlid was a goldfish and got it and kept it as it would a goldfish. At least that's what I think. And this is like a glitch, you know? You know that like Pokemon card that's super rare because there was a glitch on the print, on one of the prints, and now it's worth like $10,000 because no other Pokemon card got printed like that. What am I talking about? I'm just saying you don't see this every day. And this is one of the worst things that could happen because paracyclids, they're called paracyclids because they kind of look like parrots, but they also have the intellect not parallel to a parrot, but really, really close. They are one of the smartest aquarium fish you can own. They really bond with the owner and they need that intellectual sort of stimuli. And that little tank right there is not gonna cut it. These guys get pretty big as well. I feel so horrible for this fish. This tank is sent in by Mirt. Two telescope goldfish in what looks to be, I don't know, a 30, 40 gallon maybe? I don't know if that's good enough. I heard telescope goldfish get pretty big but I do like the scape it looks like it's all natural plants it's got a sand cap and then a nutritious substrate at the bottom I think 4.2 out of 5 keep it up this tank is sent in by Ruben Lima clean tank no BS a good starter aquascape but I fear that the java fern roots or the rhizomes or stomas I can't remember what it's called 
that you're not supposed to plant that into the gravel because it'll just start rotting away. It's much more natural for them to uh, root themselves into the gravel if you attach it to some sort of hardscape or even let it float. 3.9 out of 5, keep it up. What a bargain! $50 or 50 euros for this fish tank. Oh, you know, um, if you just ignore the barf gravel and the goldfish that are being abused, this tank is actually not a bad bargain, I feel like. It's a very clean look. It's got some cool lights up top. I've never seen lights done like that, but it, it does look pretty cool. And it's got this white bar on the bottom. That's It's just very clean design, and I feel like it's even got a uh, filter built in. But for whoever buys this tank with the goldfish, they're not gonna have a place to put the goldfish if they are a proper uh, fish keeper that know that goldfish cannot live in something like this. It's not sustainable. Nobody. That plant that I spent 20 minutes anxiously trying to get into the substrate goes up again. Yeah, this is super common, especially if you have a substrate that is not really easy to plant in. The roots can't really hold themselves when you plunge it in and then... It's one of the most annoying feelings that you can get as an aquascaper. I remember just like giving up at one point, taking a 10 minute breather because I've been jamming this plant into the substrate and when I let go of my little aquascape tool, the plant, I'm, I'm staring at it. I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Eh, no, perfect. <laughs> if this is perfect. Oh, is that like a worm? What is that thing? Well, maybe it's a airline tubing. Like that's gonna help. Two liter coke bottle. I don't know what phone you're using or if you're using flash, but it makes your fish look like it's already dead. I hope that picture haunts you in your dreams when it dies, whoever owns that fish. Huge fishes in a 50 liter tank. 50 liters is roughly 13 gallons. The filter has to run constantly because they would die from oxygen deficiency. Holy crap, is that a cyadonitis? Cyadontis? Catfish? I can't say it. Angelfish everywhere, Grammys everywhere, and they're not maxed out for sure. They're gonna keep growing. Fake plants everywhere, uh, plastic plants ripping up the fins, no doubt. That fish is like, I'ma zoom right out of here. I'ma do a big zoom and I'm out of here. I think there's two catfish of that caliber in here. 13 gallons of swimming room, of water. Oxygen deficiency, try ammonia poisoning for days. The fish can just gulp the air from up top, okay? Most of these are labyrinth fish anyway. Maybe the catfish will suffer from oxygen deficiency, but all of them are gonna suffer from ammonia burn and then they're gonna die. This tank is sent in by Sarah Brody. You wouldn't believe it if I told you I chose to do a bare bottom fish tank. But after doing more research on goldfish, yes, bare bottom is the way to go, I feel like. It's just the clean, Scape. And the less clutter in your tank, even when you go bare bottom, the better. So that's why for this tank, I'm like, it's a good planted tank. It's even got Oko stone, but you got two gold fish in it, and I can see them eating that nutritious, rich fluvostratum it could be, which could cause them to choke. That Oko stone and other stones could end up ripping up their fins. So when you put gold fish into the equation, you really need to start thinking what's the best for them. If you had neon tetras in there, whatever, I wouldn't be making any of these points. So Sarah, just keep those things in mind. You have a really lovely tank here. I'm going to rate it four out of five. Keep up the good work. Keep your goldfish safe. My parents going through my search history, seeing if I've done anything bad. Let's see what some of these things are. Pitchy dish. Red cherry shrimp size, super red bristlenose pleco. Whoa, didn't know those existed. That's my actual history, by the way. <laughs> nice, dude. Your parents don't think you're watching porn, but they definitely think you're a complete fish nerd now, and that is completely fine. Better than doing drugs. Fish keeping kids off streets and drugs. Looks like two goldfish in there. Wow, I don't know what's going on in this guy's mind either. Solo pro beats by Dre. Why well, you gotta put it right in front of your super bad fish tank. Is that supposed to make it look more premium? Does Dr. Dre approve of fish abuse as well? Probably doesn't know what fish are, actually. He's, I think he's too rich for that. $200, noise canceling beats by Dre, all black, comes with charger. Good thing it doesn't come with that fish tank because I can't afford that fish tank review. You're thinking of a small creature. Yeah, I got it. One that could fit right in yeah. the palm of my hand. Yeah. Fish tank review, all right, let's go. This fish tank has more fish than it does water. Whenever that ratio is a thing, it is probably not the best 
way to keep your fish. How did the fish even get in there? I don't even see an opening. Did they seal it shut? Is there even a pocket for air? This aquarium definitely needs some fast lightning speed photography because it's only going to last a few seconds before all the fish dies and it doesn't look like this anymore. So I guess kudos to the photographer, definitely has some skills there. Understocked. Those poor fish are gonna get so lonely. Yeah, in fish heaven, or hell, depends on if they were good fish. I think adding 10 more would suffice. Yeah, 10, 20, maybe. No, 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 there will be loads of waste. Add a common pleco, that should sort it. And then just, what the F? <laughs> Two kinds of people in this world. Actually, I lied, there's three kinds of people. The third kind is the one that smashes that like button. Thank you. Craigslist is a gold mine. 210 gallon aquarium fish tank with 300 goldfish, $1,500. I mean, it's a sight to behold, but let me just tell you, you don't want that on your hand. That's a lot of small little graves in your backyard. Either that or it'll clog up your toilet. Depends on what kind of pet owner you are. Add brownie cakes, aquascapes, sent in this tank. I'm a sucker for rockscape and then putting or embedding live plants throughout that rockscape because it looks so natural. I also can't really see the borders of your tank so I can't really see your tank as a whole. It kind of feels like you took the picture of the best part of your tank instead of showing the whole tank so I'm not sure what it looks like. I mean the rest of your tank might also look amazing too but I just don't have any proof of that. Judging by this alone I'm going to rate it a 4.5 out of 5 but I, I technically can't can't rate this because I can't see the whole tank. This tank is sent in by Eladio. You got a pretty textbook setup here. You got floaters up top giving off those nice long roots. You got some dwarf sag in the bottom. Growing pretty not too dwarf like because it's, it's filling up a little bit there. You got a chola wood with some moss attachments. Hopefully that does what you want it to do like grow out maybe carpet a bit more if that's what you're into. I see you're trying to hide the filter in the back, that's good. Keep trying to do that. Eventually the plants will fill up the back and you won't see that filter anymore. Now, yes, what are we missing guys? Hardscape. Now you say it. Good. Half the comments are gonna be like, yo, but I really did say hardscape when Chris said say hardscape. And the other half is gonna be like, what is this Dora the Explorer Chinese guy version? 4.25 out of 5, keep it up. I have no words. Yeah, I've been seeing this around. It's like, uh, I even checked out the channel actually, but I can't remember what it's called. I'm sorry. I think there's a hamster in there and their whole like goal is for the hamster to live underwater in a fish tank. I don't know why, but people have crazy ideas all the time. I, to, to me, this is, I think this is either animal abuse or borderline animal abuse. Don't want to call out definitely because even though I did work at pet stores, hamsters, small mammals are not my not my specialty. I don't know a whole world of them. I kept getting bitten as well, so I'm no good with small mammals, even though I, I would love to be. But some of you might be like, Chris, it doesn't take an expert to know that hamsters don't live underwater, you idiot. I'm like, okay, well, that, yeah, I, I have no words then. <laughs> this tank sent in by George or Jorge Ballesteros. Sorry, I'm not sure which one. Amazing scape. Look at that thick carpet. It's it's thicker than the substrate itself. When that's a thing, you know you got something going on. And the hardscape is good. Um, the tank is clean. There might be some breeding action going on. That might be a breeder box in the left corner. But it's just a little awkward or odd to me. I don't know if you guys agree or not. Um, even though it is oak stone, even though there is a piece of wood in there, it just kind of looks... I mean, kind of know what you're going for, like you're trying to fill up vertically a little bit um, because it's feeling empty, but stacking those rocks on top of each other kind of seems odd. That wood is, I think it's a little too straight up, just vertical. This could easily be a very stunning Iwagumi scape. If you take out the piece of wood um, and not stack the Oko stone and then, and then take maybe two or three big pieces of Oko stone, do that uh, golden portion, one out of three ratio sort of thing, you know what I'm talking about. And then scape some more little Oko stones. I think that would make a really big difference in the scape. For now, 4.2 out of 5, keep it up. I love the aesthetic of green aquariums. Boy, it sure is green. I mean, I agree to have a green water aquarium for rearing goldfish, maybe even adult goldfish if that's your thing. Because uh, it's healthy, it's healthy for goldfish, but I kind of don't think this is a goldfish tank because there's live plants in it and goldfish love to eat and wreck live plants. So chances are it's not it's not a goldfish tank. So I mean, it could still be healthy for other species, but is it is it really worth it? How much did it cost? This tank sent in by Mark Mar William. 
Whew, that is, that is something else. That's a stunner right there. Rimless long tank, got some hardscape on the corner, and then just riddled with Cryptocorin all the way through. Maybe some Dwarf Sage, maybe some, it's not hair grass. A big bunch of, I don't know what's in the other corner, Wisteria maybe? Waiting for that full back wall to be filled. That would look stunning. Maybe add some Woodscape to that corner Rockscape uh, with beautiful lines leading through the uh, long tank. That's always a great effect. 4.75 out of 5 for now, keep it up. This tank sent in by Min Fam. A cute little scape, a nice mix of Amazon Sword, I think, and Cryptocorin. They could actually all be Cryptocorin. There might be a little Java Fern in the back. Something is carpeting in the front. Might be Pearl Weed. Okay, okay, you got a, you got a nice little tank that's about to flourish. Looks like Nutritious Substrate. There are a few specks of pink substrate, so I'm, I, I'm not sure what that's all about. And the back does not look too clean at all. It looks like someone graffitied your fish tank. But if that's the look you're trying to go for, by all means, no problem with me. Seems like you're keeping a healthy tank is understocked. In fact, I don't even see any stocking at all. Take it to the next level though. You gotta keep things a little bit more tidy. Um, look for a vision you wanna go for when you're aquascaping. What is the centerpiece focal point? Usually it should be a uh, nice looking stone, nice looking wood piece with a lot of leading lines and attitude. 3.85 out of five, keep it up. Excuse me? I mean, it looks small up front, and then you turn it at an angle, you look at it at a different angle, and it's so thin. So it's even smaller than you thought it would be. This is like people on dating sites lying about their height, and they show up. OMG. Betas like to burrow in Orbeez like a fishy ball pit. No, they don't. I read the comments below, and apparently Orbeez is non-toxic, and this person has been keeping the beta with the Orbeez for a while and you know what else can you expect uh, the substrate is neon pink slash purple and the plant is full-on purple in a tank like this you almost expect there has to be orbeez if there wasn't i'd feel i'd feel weird paul hawkins sent in this little stunner the moss has just filled up really beautifully one beta in this tank one beta in this tank hey if you have footage of that beta like cuddling in with that soft moss please send it to me or you know link me or share it with people people need to see that it's like a depression cure lovely tank substrate is fertilized confirmed you got some glow lights in there maybe maybe one glow light hopefully it's not very nippy on the beta 4.3 out of 5 keep it up reed lock miller sent in this tank they are a new hobbyist so this is probably one of their first tanks maybe their first tank ever definitely did their research it looks like you got some carpeting action going on that's very rare for a beginner. Got some interesting plants in there. I'm not even sure about what species some of them are. You got the woodscape, you got the hardscape. That's great. You got a backdrop that is clean. This is a fluval flex, so you're flexing right from the beginning. You got a Yoda statue. What else can you ask for from a first time fish keeper? My first fish was Let's not get into it. Very cool, but I'm not going to be biased by the, the new hobbyist or if you're 13 or whatever. You, we won't believe the amount of emails I get from 13 year olds saying, hey, I'm 13, review my tank. I'm 13, so you know, this is a really good job for a 13 year old. Son, have you seen those piano prodigies? They're like nine years old, bro. That includes me as well. That's like why I quit piano. I see a nine-year-old playing Fur Elise way better than I. Honestly, they wouldn't even be playing Fur Elise. Fur Elise is like a level four piece. They'd be playing like Winter's Wind by, um, by, what's his name? It's not Bach. Oh gosh. Winter's Wind by, I only know this because of the anime you're lying in April. Tell me who's it by. I'm not gonna Google it. Just comment in the section. Comment in the comment section. Anyway, this, back in, back on topic, this, why do I, uh, this tank, rating it a 4 out of 5, keep it up. Found that on Instagram. What is that? It looks like a strip of light. They took the bulb out, but somehow it's, it still has light. And then they put fish and water in it. But if this is real, if there's real fish in there, this is horrible because it's being lit up the whole way through. Imagine being disoriented in this like bright room. It just doesn't feel good. Update, my dad's 220 gallon aquarium has been cleaned. This is a feel good story. Look at that up top. That is gross. Look at it on the bottom. That is clean. And it also looks like salt water. So definitely took a took an effort there. Might even be using live rock. I love it. I support it. Good job to your dad. Also, if, if you helped 
clean the tank, good job to you as well. If you just stuck around and just looked at your dad clean the tank and not help him, what are you doing, man? Help him out. Help a brother out. My older sister's depressing goldfish tank. Oh, that goldfish don't look good. It don't feel very good, Mr. Stark. I don't know if that filter is even still working. The word depressing is used here, and I think it fits this perfectly. Please do not attack her. Nonetheless, you shouldn't let a kid have free reign on their fish tank. Are you perhaps the kid that wrote this? Rain? Bro, I know you have better grammar and spelling than that. I know you don't think the word rain for like precipitation is what you wanted to use here. Please tell me that you know that. Hey man, don't worry about the tank, it's gonna settle, okay? That's like sand, maybe they poured in sand after they put some water in there. No, it's not the best for the fish, but that's gonna settle. She's gonna learn her lesson. You need to go back to school and learn some grammar. <laughs> he later started blowing into the filter to give the fish oxygen. Oh gosh, Monster Mike. Oh, is that what he looks like? I, I totally thought he was gonna be like this obnoxious white guy. I wonder why I thought that, I'm sorry. I'm not a racist. But here, let's forget about the basic grammar. Let's focus on basic biology for a sec. And you definitely learn this by the time you're grade three in elementary school. Humans, we take in what? Oxygen, okay. And then we expel what? CO2. Monster Mike, my dude. You're blowing CO2 in there. <laughs> Fish don't breathe CO2. In fact, CO2 kills fish. I mean, sure, you're moving some air into it. You got some O2 mixed in with the CO2, but still, man. Hope you brought a breath mint. Saw on the show Flea Market Flip. Guys turned an old lamp into a fish tank. Someone bought it for $250. $250 for an old lamp with a goldfish in it that's gonna die? This sounds like the lore of League of Legends. It's where Jax found his first weapon. Get a real weapon, Jax. Three goldfish, one common pleco, all in a three gallon tank. Oh, it's just great. Look at that. SpongeBob house. Even got a Nemo with the anemone in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Five out of five fish abuse. Let's go. Tank review. Fish tank review. Work and have so much fun, so we'll suffer so little money. <laughs> review. Man, y'all know what's going on. My man's flipped out of an aquarium in his backyard. Homie, shorty. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a ghetto setup right there, man. It doesn't get more real than that. Holy crap. <laughs> Let's watch that again. Man, y'all know what's going on. My man flipped out of an aquarium in his backyard. It does look like they're having Homie, fun. Homie, shorty. <laughs> Pull it out, oh. Okay, all three of them are filled with water, I think, but only one of the layers actually has fish stocked. It's gotta be goldfish. I don't know, I think this is not a bad idea except putting the goldfish in there. I think you can rig it up in a way where it's actually legit. Maybe set it at different levels and do like a waterfall effect even, but I don't think at that point, once you set it up, that you should keep opening it and closing it or making it mobile. I think it should just be stationary, and that would actually be a really cool fish tank and it will be very DIY probably even cheaper than buying a fish tank outright yeah this could be a really cool project to do if you have like a shelf like this lying around all planted and there's like pothos scaling down the waterfall Ooh, that, that that that's got some potential I might actually try that out I don't know hopefully it's not gonna look as ghetto as this and I'm probably not going to use goldfish fish cafe in Vietnam those are live fish that's a little disgusting. I mean, feet are kind of dirty, right? And they walk everywhere. Water quality must be pretty poor. There's a lot of fish in there, so it might even be overstocked for, you know, something that looks like a really big enclosure. The whole floor of the restaurant. It's a really cool concept, but yeah, actually having to step into the water where the fish are, I think it would even be discomforting for the customers. It would be a very unique experience, but Obviously a lot of people didn't agree with it because later on they were forced to clean up the floor and put all the fish into fish tanks, which don't look anywhere big enough for all those fish. And there's significantly less fish in these tanks than there were on the floor, so I'm assuming a lot of them just perished or got smashed into pieces by people trying to walk on them. But you know what should be smashed into little pieces? The like button. Isn't that right, Rapachi? I'm embarrassed. I don't live with my dad, still in high school, and I recently moved in last night. I'm going to buy him a new tank because I think this tank is beyond repair and move it out of my brother's room. 
I know it's not my fault, but having it in my own house hurts a lot. Yeah, that does hurt. It looks kind of like uh, SpongeBob Armageddon. The end of Bikini Bottom. Complete destruction and everything's in ruins and, Sp and SpongeBob is like this war-hardened, like, chiseled face, haven't been eating enough protein, sort of. I think there's an anime opening, a fan-made anime opening of Spongebob, kind of like that. And then there's like this goldfish takeover. But yes, thank you for dealing with this crappy tank. You have the spirit of the Cory gang and fish fam instilled in you when you're not able to take this crap and just leave it in your house without fixing it up. So I commend you, fellow Cory gang member. This tank is sent in by Michael Cobb. So the only plants I see are a bunch of beautiful Anubius Bartaria, it looks like, and then got some Vallis in the back with some Crips growing really tall. This is a darn cool tank, and it does have a little bit of woodscape here and there. You can see when the Anubius is covering it up. Super awesome green, very interesting textures, all made with just very simple plants. I don't even know if that's a nutritious substrate. Maybe it's fertilized by uh, root tabs, which is totally fine. I love it. This is my kind of tank. 4.7 out of 5. Keep it up. This tank is sent in by at Thomas Unterwigger. Immediately, my focus has been captured by that shining beacon of light of a of a plant. I'm not sure what that is. Might just be a sword really, but it looks really cool. Contrasted with the bigger leaves of the Anubius up front. That corner, you should just leave that corner because it's perfect. And then you can uh, work on the rest of your tank, filling out the back there, hiding all those cords. Maybe a carpeting plant in the foreground and mid-ground. I don't recommend, I actually don't recommend adding more hardscape to the more empty sections of your tank because that kind of throws off the corner effect that you have and you have a beautiful corner. So if anything, you can uh, add more to that corner, like nice branches coming into the rest of your tank. But other than that, I just recommend maybe some small pieces of wood or stone on the other side of the tank if you must. But more importantly, a full green carpet. Four out of five, keep it up. Five gallons stuffed with gourami on offer up. Yeah, stuffed with gourami and goldfish. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, keep, I just keep seeing more bodies. Let's do a count, shall we? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. At least 11. Probably more fish. This is maybe a 5 gallon, if even. Holy cow. I think this person definitely got bored of the 3 goldfish, 1 angelfish trope that was a meme on our channel here and just went overboard. Let's just go all in today. And the very next day, they all died. The end. Fish love soap. It is so good for them because it cleans that dirty water. You guys remember that Spongebob episode where Spongebob's doing squirrel jokes and then he starts making fun of fish instead because Sandy got really, really tilted. And then he's like, soap, soap, what is soap? I mean, you're getting all your germs and whatever else. Yes, there's no actual soap bottles or any of the dry soap bars, but you got a bunch of kids washing their hands and I can just imagine one of these parents who don't know anything about fish and they're like, oh, if you're gonna wash your hands, here, take some hand sanitizer. And of course, hand sanitizer might even be worse than soap. And kids' hands are just generally dirty. You don't know where they've been. Could be a million things on there. This tank is sent from and other things. Very interesting name. Pretty interesting scape. I don't think I've seen anything like it. It looks like you, you got a lawnmower and you set it to one of the higher settings and you chopped exactly just right through your whole fish tank because what is that like some sort of valis it's a little too straight for valis i'm not sure what plant that is it definitely does give it an interesting look albeit not too natural look. and there's maybe one or two neons in there i would bump up those numbers it does have its charm though that centerpiece wood it does give off some interesting shades and colors i think perhaps that plant was just taking over and growing like everywhere in the tank that might be why you had to cut it overall i do enjoy the scape um, there are plants in the background as well filling out the more i look at it the more i realize there's a sort of like grandeur sort of ambience to this tank i don't know maybe i'm thinking too hard about this 4.2 out of 5 keep it up pleco in half full 10 gallon with no filter thinking of saving him yes please save him oh look a hairbrush something that i don't own so really this pleco is in less than five gallons of water if you own a house why would you live in only half of it and if you own a particularly small house would it make sense to use only half of that small house 500 square feet and now you're only using 250 square feet that makes no sense and even worse this is worse than just choosing not to live in a house because imagine if the air was poison and the less amount of space you use the more poison you consume of course you want to use as much of your house as possible if people started thinking that way towards fish i don't think they'd be doing the same things like pulling this crap more then uh, enough space in a 30 gallon 
Why do I need to change the water? I thought GoFish could go in a one gallon tank. Why is those not enough room? <laughs> Who is saying all these things? Who has such bad grammar? Well, I can disregard the grammar for a sec because oh, new tank syndrome hasn't even left this tank yet. And there's already a billion fish in there, including big goldfish, a school of glowfish, which honestly, this tank is probably big enough just for that school of glowfish, and that would have been perfect. Like, you got the artificial stuff in there already, and glowfish look artificial, and they're already in a good, I would say, a good school of them. If only, if only they stopped there and not immigrated some goldfish and some guppies and minnows and whatever, and it is severely being overfed. All that excess food is going to be turned into ammonia and nitrite. This tank sent in by Chicky Choo X, big bushy java fern with the roots on top of the rock work coming down just like a tree or a bush something natural really nice you're starting to get some carpeting action going on in the front i don't know what plant that is might just be low growing s repens for now some rotala on both sides it looks like i like the clean glass no bs lights up top looking clean looking sharp nutrient rich substrate low stocking i don't see any stocking i'm curious what you want to stock this tank with maybe it's a shrimp tank and it's hard to see shrimp on camera so 4.5 out of 5 keep it up this tank is sent in by royalty reefing goodness look at the top of that tank just covered smothered with floaters sucking up those excess nutrients not to mention nutrient rich substrate some cryptocorin on the bottom looking like some thin variant of wisteria towards the right and center bit of hardscape i don't know if that's natural but I mean, the name Royalty Reefing doesn't really make you think, oh, freshwater tropical. No, instead, this guy is a reefer, and I'm not a reefer myself, I don't have salt water, but that looks sick. I've seen saltwater tanks, and not many of them looks like that. That actually looks like a coral reef in, like, Australia or something. One that's not overly populated by tourists or damaged. Kudos to you, dude. I don't rate saltwater because I don't know much about saltwater, so I don't really feel comfortable giving a rating, but for your planted tank, I will give it a 3.8 out of 5. Keep it up. I have a hard time believing he survived a year. Thankfully, someone is taking him in. We've had sushi for a little over a year, but we are flying across the country and can't take him with us. Thank goodness. Adios, Godspeed, good riddance. If he didn't like it, he would climb out. I mean, let's... First of all, are you sure he's not getting crushed by that artificial shipwreck crap? Just like this tank, a shipwreck of a tank. Secondly, is that really what you believe? The turtle would crawl out if he didn't like it in there. He would just fall onto the floor, crack his shell, and die if he did that. And what, are you going to get a new tank if he decides to climb out? Or let's be honest, you're gonna shove him back in and pretend like he didn't. And still tell all your friends, he loves it in there, he never tries to climb out. He never tries to end his life because of how horrible his fish tank is. People like these, like you can't argue with them, you can't even really talk to them, okay? They don't, they're not logical enough. I swear, if you ask this guy, do you think your tank looks better or do you think an aquascape by a mono looks better and he'd be like my tank dude it's like a shipwreck you know it's got such a nice theme that a mono dude his tanks are just like filled with green stuff like it's so dizzying i don't want to look at that stuff you know makes me dizzy makes me dizzy like some crap like that that you can't even logic with just just give up. Gosh darn it. Truly big brain. This is cosmic brain, dude. I bet if you did an x-ray and looked at the brain size and shape of the owner of this fish, you would see this exact thing. That betta is about the size of his brain and the shape of it. An image you can smell. Two massive goldfish in a 20 gallon, selling locally for $70. Wow, I didn't know they already invented smell -o vision It smells real fishy up in here. Those are some chunky ass goldfish. I can understand the green water for goldfish is healthy. This water is yellow. Did you pee in your fish tank? Also, just look at that decoration. You can tell that the goldfish are just loving it. 5 out of 5 owner. Look no further, I found the main protagonist of the fish keeping world. You can tell how many types of fish they have killed. Oh, yeah. Not the best picture to be posting online. All the tropical fish even some cichlids, and of course, betta. And I'm sure those food containers are at least like 90% full. Could not have finished feeding more than 90%. If all those fish were put into that tank, oh look, it's a orange themed tank. Haven't, I don't see that every day. They're usually pink or neon blue or something like that. Orange with a black filter, black and orange. Wow, super stylish. 5 out of 5. Are you looking for a houseplant with a twist? Back with the real estate issue. There's another betta right behind it. 
Is this guy just mass manufacturing beta torturing devices? You know, what's funny, it does look like this is Blackwater. Um, it's got some tannins. I think that's an almond leaf or something like that. But they just had to overlook every single other thing when it comes to taking good care of a beta. This is like how much water that fish has. And then it's being sucked up by the pothos, who in their right mind thinks that's enough water for a fish. The very least you can do is fill it up all the way. I mean, come on. Imagine using 100% of your house. Fish, tank, rib. So I got this new watch. Comment what y'all think. It has live fish. Thought it was pretty cool. Thought I'd show y'all. So comment what you think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Just got it. So comment what you think, y'all. Don't worry, I have a feeling my, my audience will comment what they think about your cool new watch, buddy. Hey man, it's 2020, we ain't here to judge anyone except for fish abusers and animal abusers. Basically, people who abuse things that have no decision in the decisions that you make for them. And that includes the poor fish you trapped into that 0.01 gallon i just really want to smash that watch into pieces and get those fish out of there and into a actual tank make sure to smash the like button like you were smashing the watch feck <laughs> this this is like what i would say i would say feck <laughs> yeah and, and it's totally deserving of that i'm not great with bigger cichlids but i know that's an oscar oscars need i don't know at least 200 gallons i'm not sure something like that this is like maybe 20 or 30 gallons probably a 20 gallon for a full-grown almost full-grown oscar i think that's a jack dempsey over there i don't know what this one is it looks like half blood parrot half convict something like that they all need like i don't know 100 gallons 150 gallons each something crazy like that that's not gonna do it boy this tank is sent in from chris clinton a pretty nice tank the first thing i notice is that the water is a little bit blurry a little bit misty it might be new tank syndrome it might be a new tank that you set up and haven't psycho properly yet before putting fish in if that's the case try to make sure you do uh, set it up properly next time cycle it properly if that's not the case and you're struggling with this for a long time i suggest don't touch the tank and don't keep doing water changes because new tank syndrome is defeated when we don't do water changes and when we don't add anything to the tank having said that you're going for a island look and i truly dig it it's got really nice woodscape uh really nice rockscape nutritious rich substrate you got java ferns embedded and other plants embedded all throughout that little island really cool effect and i can't wait until these plants grow out and make your island really lush for now i'm going to rate it a 3.8 out of 5 keep it up found this on r what's this fish what are these fish my friend has looks like white cloud mountain minnow and <laughs> this comment cracked me up dying <laughs> they're dying that's what they are <laughs> yummy fish water cake Whoa. dude that is an impressive cake i a hundred percent wish that cake was just you know, a cake without one of the layers being a fish tank with fish in it. A fish tank that is demonstrating that somehow that little piece of water is able to contain a bed of fish. That is probably the bed of fish's main tank. And you know that this little girl is very, is just very spoiled. The parents aren't going to make her do any research. The parents aren't going to do research themselves. They're going to go to like Petco or PetSmart and ask one of the assistants who might not know all that there is to know about betta fish including how to cycle a tank what the real size of a fish tank a betta fish should go into the daughter is like i want my pet fish between my my sea sea themed ocean themed cake and the parents are like oh hell yeah we doing that buys plants from lfs one week later dun 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 it's the army of the mts i experienced this exact thing in my 40 gallon when i still had it up Every night it would be like a great migration of MTS to the to the surface of the tank because they come out at night and they try to eat stuff at night and they burrow back into the substrate when the sun comes up. H433A05 sent in this tank. I don't know where this guy is from. I, I can't tell from his name. Little Anubius Nana scattered in the bottom. Make sure not to plant the Anubius because their roots are going to rot in the substrate. But I do like that there's a nice variety of plants, life plants, and a minimal minimalistic rockscape. The stocking is all right. Um, it's not overstocked per se, but I feel like the Tetras and Rasporas, they need a bigger school to actually, you know, 
uh, feel more natural in their environment. This might be a better tank suited for either a group of micro fish, so chili rasboras, or maybe one centerpiece fish like one honey gourami or one scarlet baddies or one pea puffer one beta. But anyways, judging by the escape, it's not a bad tank at all. 3.8 out of 5, keep it up. Oh yeah, and this is their little Cory cat. Pretty sweet. <laughs> you. The guy she tells you not to worry about. Oof. Oh, so true, man. So true. Not worry. Not worry about that? Are you, are you joking? Are you crazy? How can I not worry about that? Looks like freaking Chris Hemsworth. And my last name ain't Hemsworth. Three hours late on the water change. <laughs> It's like bacteria colony sprouting on the top of his head. Man, just three hours? I mean, come on. I mean, that's just bad luck Brian stuff right here. Three hours late and there's a full bacteria, like, I don't know, like full bloom on his head. It's like fruiting bodies of the bacteria just started multiplying. Three hours late? Oh man. You dead. All your fish are dead. Don't even try. And yeah, if you haven't noticed, uh, Rapeshi and I are not on a talking basis. Um, I don't know what I did to piss her off um, to give me the silent treatment. She won't look at me. She just won't even turn around and look at me right now. But you can clearly see she's still holding on with her tail because she's a big tundere and she knows she needs me. That's right. Anna underscore so cool sent in this cool tank. I like the two pieces of wood jutting out in both directions. You got Amazon swords on, you got two big swords on both ends. Doing some symmetry stuff here. Don't see too much symmetry in fish tanks because symmetry is unnatural in nature, but this is still, you know, you're working it. It's okay. Backdrop of bubbles. This is a goldfish tank and it looks like it's an on par size for what looks to be three goldfish. Congratulations. Good job. Rating this a four out of five. Keep it up. This tank is sent in by Kevin Turner. Now, this tank was sent in, but he has since upgraded because he said, I inspired him to get rid of all this artificial trash and into something more natural, which is this tank. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's always a little rough starting up with natural from artificial because you don't really know exactly what you're doing yet. And that's what it looks like. But at least this is in the right direction. At least now he is considering even a little bit maybe more than a little bit. Where his fish come from, they don't have neon blue gravel with pink plants and whatever the heck else. They have natural ecosystems like this. So kudos to you. Right now your tank is sitting at a 3.5 out of 5, but um, let me tell you, I was not gonna rate that other artificial tank. So, and keep it up. I'm sure this tank has already improved since you sent it. This tank is sent in by Lee C. Absolutely beautiful, gorgeous tank. This is what I'm talking about, a species tank, neon tetra species. And I see another smaller school of perhaps ember tetras, but that's fine. It doesn't take away from anything. It actually adds more to the natural scape because it's totally natural in nature for two schools of different species of fish to bump into each other. And they're both extremely peaceful fish. They have aggression only in their own schools and not even that much at that. But let's talk about escape for a sec. It's riddled with plants. It's got that uh, essential foundation hardscape with the beautiful lines, interesting lines coming out from the wood, and then you got plants growing very naturally and embedding themselves within that hardscape. This is beautiful. We haven't had a 5 out of 5 for a while. This is a 5 out of 5 for me. Keep being awesome, dude. Keep making awesome scapes. I'm not sure if I want to believe that there's two turtles in here. I'm not sure I want to believe there's even one turtle, but there it is. How in the world is there another turtle in there? These poor guys, man. I I don't want to believe this. What in the world is going on in there? How can anyone see that and, and take a picture of it and share it? How did this photo come about? Come on. Come on, guys. What is this? Look at the water. That's not even... Like some people are like green algae water is natural and healthy and yeah to some extent i i do agree this is not this is not it this is gray water and gray water belongs in sewers not in a turtle tank what is this guy doing you thought that turtle tank was bad look there's four beta being abused right here this hole is probably smaller than my starbucks mug it would be probably much better for these fish if they were put into this thing that is ridiculous. I mean, look at that beautiful Dumbo. It, and it doesn't matter if they look beautiful or not. No beta should be treated like this. And I do hope that water is that color because of tannins, which are healthy for the fish and not ammonia or whatever the heck else that could be. This tank is sent by Tad. 
O'Halloran. Okay, interesting scape. I like that the wood spans all across the back of the tank. That's pretty neat. Um, and you got some rock scape here and there. There's some random pieces of wood and a merino moss ball and some other random plants. You can tidy it up a little bit. Maybe go corner heavy. Corner heavy is always a cool option if you are not too sure what you want to do with the tank. So you maximize plants in one corner, half the uh, hardscape or woodscape jut out. Uh, from from that corner to the rest of the tank always makes a pretty nice look stocking wise i am not in agreement with this this is definitely if it's not overstocked now it's gonna be overstocked you got dwarf garamis you got at least two angelfish two tiger barbs a black skirt tetra one neon tetra I'm, so yeah take note from the guy i gave uh five out of five for lee take note from his stocking it doesn't need to be noah's ark okay it doesn't need to have every single fish under the sea or under the lake trust me you're gonna experience better things with less species of fish in your fish tank this is unfortunately something i cannot overlook for this tank the stocking because it's overstocked and got a little bit of noah's ark syndrome going on it's going to have to take a hit 3.6 out of 5. keep it up though saw this while browsing facebook took me a few seconds to realize what i was looking at yeah i would be very confused as well that looks like an oscar pretty sure that's an oscar and it's it might even be in a 10 gallon, maybe 15 to 20 gallon, 10 to 20 gallon, somewhere from there. Full grown, what looks like. And I mean, just look at the food choices. That's that's like food you would feed maybe a betta or maybe some tetras. Definitely not Oscar food. I'm disappointed to say the least. I wouldn't want to run across this Facebook post if I'm browsing my Facebook feed. I suggest you unfollow. Personally, I wouldn't keep one Oscar in less than a 75 because I like clear water, lol. That's beside the point though, check this crap out. What is this? It's like Oscar Monday today? Getting so many Oscar picks. Ugh, poor Oscars. They, they have it so bad. Because they're such beautiful fish, beginner fish keepers can't help but focus in on that. Six more pictures. Six more pictures of what? The same fish abuse thing? I've had it with one. You don't need to send six. Are you trying to show off how bad your tank is? <laughs> Seriously, six pictures? Six more of this. I, I, don't, I don't understand. Homemade dozing system gone wrong. It's, it's not this bad. I mean, there's, there's a small percent of a possibility that you, you could end up like this. I mean, just do your research before you go CO2. I know this is wholesome and stuff, but poor fish in the background. That is really wholesome and, you know, I'm a big bird guy. I love birds. Although I, I would never get a cockatoo. Cockatoos are like big babies that stay babies for their whole life with like a knife in their mouth and they can fly. So I actually suggest if you're thinking, ever thinking of getting a cockatoo, don't get a cockatoo. Even cockatoo owners or bird experts will guide you towards the opposite direction of a cockatoo. Consider cockatiel. Also that sun conure is the cutest. They're much easier to to take care of than a cockatoo, but they are also extremely loud. Anyway, besides the point, I have ADHD. Look at that fishbowl in the back. Exposed, dude. We know you can take care of birds. Now take care of your fish too, or don't keep them. It's that simple. If, you, if you're gonna do a half-assed job, don't do the job at all, or go all in. RO system finally finished. <laughs> Industrial grade. <laughs> no, but sometimes it do look like that though. <laughs> sometimes it, it, do, it do be like that. Why do they sell this? I'll tell you exactly why, to make money. That's the number one reason from making sensible people into scumbags because they're chasing money. And especially this, because it's in the shape of a Lego. And if you know anything about Lego, what do you need? Yeah, more than one piece. Preferably a whole bunch of Lego pieces you can put together. Oh. If you really enjoyed this video, then please hit that like button. There'll be more videos to come, and don't forget to get your hands wet.